Hi, right, it's Andy again, and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on uh, web views, um, a brief uh, tutorial on notifications, and a, a brief tutorial on setting an alarm manager. And uh, those two will actually go together hand in hand to uh, set a reminder every day and put it in a notification. Um, so. And uh, what I wanted to, oh, and the third thing will be a splash screen, how to implement that using fragments instead of activities as you've probably seen online. Um, it's really easy to do. All, all three of these um, goals are going to be pretty easy. Uh, the first one uh, is going to be the web view, and I'm going to do that in a, vac uh, um, bleh, in a fragment. So right here, um, I just, I'm using Android Studio, so uh, I just created an application and if you select I, I will use fragments this is automatically um, the placeholder fragment is created for you so I'm just using that uh, so what we're gonna do is when we launch this app we're gonna have a web view so real simple um, is a, a web view we created that in this uh, fragment main so here's a web view. It's got a border. Um, I set the background to a grayish color, uh, E5, 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 so that you can kind of see the difference between uh, the web view and uh, your um, border, your background. Now this is all ge pre-generated for you and it does develop little errors here, just ignore them. Um, I'm just going to set this as the default padding and all that stuff. Um, what I wanted to do is I'm loading up this website and um, this is something that my employer is doing for us where we're kind of in a competition to reach 10,000 steps a day as a, a fitness goal. Um, the winner is probably going to win like a Fitbit or something like that. So that's the purpose of this app is actually to remind me to log in and um, enter in my uh, my daily uh, step count. I'm wearing a pedometer for that. So that's what the goal is. But if I just wanted to do a web view, the easiest way for me to have done this would actually have you know, created a shortcut onto the home screen uh, to log in. So that's where the reminder part of this actually comes in. It's actually since it's going to remind me every day to do it, I don't forget a login and I don't miss it. So that's the goal of the app. Now, um, what I wanted to do is if I don't include this, um, it comes the default zoom level is really zoomed in. So I wanted to uh, zoom out uh, to about 50% scale. And that's what this uh, set initial scale is. It's just the implemented way of zooming out by default there used to be a default zoom scale thing but that's deprecated and it's replaced with set initial scale it's pretty easy to do this is actually pretty nice so this is a um, an integer and, and it's in a uh, percent so uh, 50 percent scale is what I'm setting it at uh, the next thing is a splash screen somebody requested how to do a splash screen um, since I wanted to change it up, there's plenty of examples on splash screens. Um, I wanted to do an example using uh, fragments. So uh, this is a splash screen is just going to be um, like an image view or something like that. And I've made this one incredibly ugly, uh, as you can see here. Uh, green background with the, the standard icon. Uh, I'm going to take this out for my personal use, but I figured I'd use this as an example of how to actually implement this. So you create a view, um, like a layout or whatever you want to do, you would, and then you create a fragment to uh, inflate that view. Now what we're going to do is every single time we load the activity, since we only have one activity, we are going to, um, uh, on the first launch, we're going to set the alarm. So uh, ignore that for now. Uh, the, this is what uh, the splash screen is going to do. So we're going to set, look at this method. I created one that's called uh, splash method. So uh, let's see, splash methods here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to load up um, that splash screen. So 
uh, get support fragment manager that begin transaction dot add. So this is um, <clears throat> uh, on previous tutorials I used. I had you know we're setting a default view and then we're replacing it. Um, that's no longer the case. Uh, this is the pre-generated code from Google. It, you're going to add the fragment and then we're going to replace it later. So um, this one, there's nothing happening in the background of the splash screen. Um, it's just uh, a splash screen that's set on a timer. So to set that timer, we're going to have um, uh, do a runnable and we're going to run it for two seconds. So that's what this 2000 is. It's 2000 milliseconds. And uh, we're just going to run after set this post delayed. So after this two seconds is complete, we're going to uh, replace that container with uh, the placeholder fragment, which is the default view, which is the web view. So that's all that is. Um, it's not very hard to implement. You can play around with this, change it, see how it, um, how the time interacts with it. Now the, the next thing we wanted to do is on our first launch we want to create an alarm and uh, we only need to do it once. So that's what this alarm method is and uh, this is to make sure that it only gets run once. So I've created an, uh, an int, an integer of i um, and uh, the default value is going to be 1. So when this launches for the first time it's going to um, create this uh, integer, actually it's going to get it and it's going to be zero um, or we're going to set, since it doesn't exist, we're going to set a default value of one. So it's going to just say, okay, this is one since there's nothing there. Um, so this i, this integer, um, if it's less than two, which on the first run it's going to be one, uh, we want to set up the alarm. Uh, once that's done, we want to increase the um, integer by one so it'll now be two and then we want to make sure we save that so the next time we run this this will actually have a value of two so it'll ignore this um, default value and say two and since it's not less than two it's equal to two it's gonna ignore this code so it's only gonna run on the first launch so that's a real easy way to set something up like I could do this exact same thing with the splash screen. So it, the splash screen comes up on the first launch and no other launch. That actually might be a good idea. Uh, <clears throat> so let's go over the alarm. So we need to set up uh, an intent of a notify service. So the service is going to be running in the background uh, and we need to tell it to do something at a specific time. So that's what all this, um, the alarm manager is a, a, a nice low memory way of doing this. You can also use a timer, but alarm manager is a lot more um, easy on the resources. So that's why we're going to use it. Uh, we want to, <clears throat> the, our intent is going to be to uh, start the notific, uh, notif the, our service. Um, so, and then our pending intent is actually, um, our, sorry, our pending intent is actually going to be the one to start um, the service when it runs. So we want to set a, a time that we want to uh, do this. So we're going to do um, second minute hour. This is, this is set to midnight. So zero seconds of zero minutes of zero hour. So that's going to be midnight um, at a.m. So 12 a.m. If we had set this to p.m., it would be noon. So we want to uh, set this to to a.m. And uh, the day of the month, um, the default value is one, but it doesn't actually matter. So we're going to do we're set a repeating alarm. So it's going to wake up the device. So that's what, um, if you want this to wake up uh, or actually uh, sound off if your, um, your phone is asleep, you have to add the wake up. Otherwise, the RTC only goes off if the, if the phone is, is, is awake. So we want to get the current time. We want to set the frequency. So 
this is actually set up uh, as an easy way to for you to see uh, that is a daily event. So uh, 1,000 milliseconds times 60 milliseconds per minute times 60 minutes per hour times 24 hours. So that's how many milliseconds are in a day, but an easy way to set it up is to just do the math there. And what we want to do is set up this pending intent, which is the service every day. So, um, and then this toast is actually going to show up. We can actually see visually that this happens only on the first launch and no other launch. So this is uh, letting us know that we successfully set the alarm. So the next thing we have to do is actually set up a service, which is this uh, notify service class. So that's what we're going to do now is here's our notify service. Um, it's a it's an actual service, so you want to import that. Um, this iBinder is a required uh, class. If if you don't include it, it'll tell you to make it, and it'll generate this code for you. But we want to actually set up an onCreate method, and this is just the the method for the notification. So if you haven't seen this before, uh, we're setting up a notif excuse me a notification menu uh, a notification. So uh, with a sound, so that's why we're doing this uh, URI of a sound, is that you can actually hear it go off every day, and we're gonna set that as your the your default notification sound. So whatever you've set in the in the system as a default notification, that's what what's it's gonna pick. So now we want to set up a notification manager um, with an intent. So when we click on this, it's going to start up our main activity again. Um, we have to set up another pending intent. So we're going to set a title. It says log steps, and then in there it'll have like a you know a longer text field uh, if you uh, drag it down, or if it's the only notification, you'll see both these texts. Uh, we're going to set an icon. Um, our icon will be the default application icon. Uh, this is uh, going to allow us to the set content intent so when we select it it actually loads up this main activity so that's what we want to do. Um, set sound so when it goes off it's going to go off with this uh, default notification sound and uh, <clears throat> when you we can add an action so when we actually click on a button um, that says load website, it's going to start the same thing. It's going to do the exact same thing. So we have two different um, ways to launch the main activity. If you wanted to do something different, you would change the action or the content intent. But uh, this way, whenever we select the actual notification, it's going to do this. And then we need to start it. So to notify it, and this is going to this all goes into the on create, so don't forget that there used to be an on start, but it's uh, deprecated. So on create, that's where it goes now. So let's see what this looks like. We're gonna load up the application. We're gonna do it on a, a fresh fresh build, so this should not be running on uh, on this uh, virtual machine. So there you go. There's the splash screen, and then there's the website with this the default scale of 50%. Um, you know, we didn't get the toast message, so actually, let me go in here and uh, make sure we clear it out. So we'll clear the defaults. So this way, when we load it, uh, that intent, the that sorry integer, not intent, the integer is. Uh, set to zero. So that's why we get the toast of the start alarm. So now we know that the alarm is set. So now if we go into the time and I'm going to manually change this to midnight. Um, so and then go 
back. I'll we'll sit here for a minute. I'll set it to 2359. That's funny. It didn't change the time here. I've had a, this uh, emulator is acting a little screwy. Um, not really quite sure if it's a system image or or what. I probably need to update some stuff. There might be a new image actually. <clears throat> so if we stay here for a minute, we should get a notification, and I'll show you what uh, both of them do. Uh, both buttons so um, there's gonna be the default if I click on the notification and then another button underneath it that says load website or right so load website will be the button underneath uh, I can add another button by adding another action um, you would like just go uh, add action um, there's no icon for it so we're gonna do zero uh, you can set text. Ah, there it is. There's our notification. So as you see in the notification, we have our default icon. Um, that doesn't meet regulations, but like uh, recommendations. The recommendations are to do an all white solid, fully um, uh, all white icon. So if I were to make this as like a 10K as text, white text, that would actually be a good idea. That would be fine. So here's our, our um, notification. If I click up here, anywhere over there, it's going to load the, the main activity. If I click down here, it's going to load the main activity. If I wanted to add another one, I would add it, and it would split up that bottom bar with, uh, two, um, with two text fields, two buttons. So when I click on it, it's going to load the main activity. See, there, we don't start the alarm again and uh, it loads up the website and the, the splash screen. So there's a, a brief tutorial on using a splash screen, a web view, uh, a notification, and an alarm, alarm manager to set off that notification daily. So I hope you found this tutorial uh, useful. I will be linking the, the source code with the new um, Android Studio source way to do it. Um, and uh, I'll put that in the description. So have a good day. Take care.